Hey everybody. All right, this is my favorite part of math. When we take what we learned in a math book and now we start using it in the real world. Our objective is to model and then solve real world problems about cash, about money, which is why we have money to use it in the real world, right? So let's take a look at the first problem here. So we got a kid named Joe and he buys an apple for 35 cents. So I wanna model that. I wanna show Joe buying that apple for 35 cents. See it? I see the number, I know he's getting something, I put it in a box, kind of a medium-sized box because we have a medium-sized number. Leanne buys a melon. Oh, now that's a little bigger, right? So let's go ahead and change this. Let's do a melon here for 82 cents. Okay, so why is that bar bigger than the other bar? Because the number that I found in the problem is bigger than the other number, right? Mm -hmm. Now here comes the good part. How much do they spend in all? So what they're asking is they're not asking you how much the melon is. We know that. We got the melon part. They're not asking you what the apple costs. We know that. We have the apple part. What we're missing, and that's where I'm going to put my question mark, is we are missing the whole thing. How much they spent on both these parts, right? Now, when you're missing the whole thing, you always add the two little things, like Legos. You put them together to get the whole answer. So when you're adding, or I guess I kind of gave it away there, when you're putting them together, you are adding. So off to the side, you just set your problem up. 82 cents on the top. 35 cents underneath. The cent sign comes down because we know our answer is going to be in some sort of sense, I guess. Five. Six, seven. Hold the eight in our head. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh my goodness, I'm going to put my one here. Carry it up again. Oh man, look at this. We have 117 cents. Or you might see that same um, number, that same dollar amount written as one dollar decimal point, and 17 cents. These are both correct answers. One of them is written in cents. Principal Freilich would like that. One of them is written in dollars and cents. Principal Freilich would like that. So she's really looking for a few different things. Imagine she came in here with her red pen, right? She would say, ooh, I really like how my friend Bianca modeled the problem. She'd give you a red star for that. Ooh, I really like how my friend Ezra knew how to regroup. She'll give you a star for that. And of course, you got the right answer. So really, you're looking for three parts. Let me tell you what I don't want you to do, okay? So instead of doing all of this work, there are kids in the world who might you know, just kind of peek at their neighbor's paper and go, done, $1.17. I mean, it's not wrong. She'll give you a star. She'll say, oh, you got a nice answer, but I missed your model. You got the right answer, but I didn't see your regrouping. We really want to model and solve these real world problems, okay? Not just see the numbers and add them or see the numbers and subtract them because sometimes it can be tricky, right? Randy bought an eraser. Here's Randy's eraser. He bought a pencil. There's his pencil. And he bought a ruler. There's his ruler. 
how much did he pay in all? So in this case, we're taking part, part, part whole. We're still missing the whole thing. We're still adding, but now we might have to do it in two steps. You might have to put two of these numbers together first. I'll do the 30 and the 50 first. And then you might take that answer and add even more. You might have to add 45 more to whatever it is you got to get the whole answer here. Does that make sense? Let's show you another one. Okay. Maggie has 27 cents. I see it. She saves some more money, 15 more cents. This first part is like step A, right? Then she spends some of this money. So once I figure out how much she has all together, once I figure this out, then I'm gonna take some of it away because she spends 19 cents, gone. And they want to know how much she has left. Okay? So it's really step A, and then I'm gonna do this second part right here where they teach us about the spending part. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is add these two together to get this whole thing. 27 cents and 15 cents. This is what 12 looks like. Put my two here, carry that up. It should be 42 cents. Okay, so now if this is 42 cents, so is this. Okay, so I know the whole thing. I know how much she spent. What I don't know is how much is left over. So if you're ever, if you have the whole thing and you have one part and you're missing the other part, you have to make that big number smaller. So we're not putting them together, we're ripping them apart with subtraction. So the first part was adding. The second part over here is gonna be subtracting. Say 12 take away nine is three, 23 cents. And that makes sense because 23 plus 19 is 42. Mm -hmm. Two parts. So when I give you your problems today, you're gonna have to figure out Dylan buys a muffin, Mina buys a bookmark, how much did they spend in all, right? Rita buys a stapler and a ball, how much does she pay in all? These are pretty straightforward, real life kind of problems that you might have to just spend money. Second page here, I have a bar model to help you with this one. Okay, how much does she pay in all? This one gets a little bit tricky, right? If I was to do this bar model, Carrie and Neil have a whole bunch of money together, $230. We know Carrie's half is $159. We do not know this half over here. How much does Neil have? That's your job to find out. And then the last one here is about Walter buying a notebook. Here's Walter's notebook, costs 50 cents. Then he buys another notebook that is more than the first one. It's 12 cents more. See that difference here? You would have to take 12 more cents to figure out what this mystery notebook costs. That's step A. Just to figure out what that notebook costs. Then you're supposed to take the two notebooks, the 50 cent one, and the other notebook that you just found, whatever that is, and put them all together to find how much they spent in all. So this is kind of like step B. And 
Interesting. This I almost consider like a challenge problem. I would be very excited to see some of your solutions to that one. Okay. I can't wait to see your work, everybody. Thanks now. Bye.